Hello, my name is Johannes Neu and in this tutorial I will show you how to use the baking script from my website. There will be a better version but even at its current state I think it can save you lots of time. So you probably know that you have to render and re-import some clips before you can send a timeline to color. For example, if there are any speed changes in it, or if it is a motion project, etc. Um, I found this process takes too much time and is kind of annoying, so I wrote a script that will export the clip and then automatically import the new file to the position of the original. Unfortunately, the script does not work as a service, so you have to use software like Keyboard Maestro or Controller Made to trigger it. Um, this tutorial is not about how to prepare a sequence for sending it to color. There are plenty of other videos about that for color 1 and 1.5. So if you don't know what you have to be careful about, watch one of these videos first. Before you start the script, make sure that you have to set the video destination right. You can do this too by hitting F6 and the track number. After that, disable the visibility of the tracks that you don't want to render out. So in my case it's track number two first. Most of the time you probably want to save each clip as a QuickTime movie. I think the fastest way to do that is to set the auto selection to one track and uh, use the arrow keys and the X key to jump from clip to clip and mark it. So mark the track for the auto selection then place the playhead over the clip that you want to render out and hit the X key. This will set in an out point um, just to start and end of the clip. Okay, after in and out points are set, you can hit the shortcut that you assigned to the script and from the pop-up windows list, you can choose the function that you like, then choose a destination, enter a name for your clip, um, doesn't matter what it is here, uh, yeah, then hit enter and hopefully everything else will be automated. After the import is done, you can just navigate through the clips by using the up and down arrows and uh, yeah hit X again to mark in and out points and hit the shortcut again and you can see here that the destination and also the names of the clip that you entered before are saved so if you want to render more than one clip of one timeline you just have to hit enter three times and the clips are being saved with uh, the same name and a continuing number. Okay, now I'm doing some baking here just to show how well the script works. And then I think that's it for now. Next time we will take a look inside the script and I will show you how to add or remove functions to or from the list. And uh, till then, happy baking! Oh, by the way, uh, you can find the script on johannesnoe.com and of course the link is also in the description. Okay, see ya.